What's up guys welcome back to second part of Android Studio Hello World tutorial. Now in this video I will show you the folder structure that we saw in the previous demo video. So let's check it out what each and every stuff stand for that we saw while creating the new project. So the first is the application name now this name appears on the play store for the users. And also as I told you in case you have started with any random application name then later on also you can change the application name anytime manually before publishing it on the play store. Now the second comes the most important thing the package name which should be unique. Now this package name guys you can edit it manually or you can simply enter your company domain name which is by default always unique because all the websites names are always unique. So here is the package name that should be unique and should not clash with any other applications package name in the play store because this package name acts like a website name. So your application is always identified with the help of the package name. So make sure it is always unique. Now in case while publishing your application on the play store if you find your application package name is not unique then also you can change your package name later manually if required. Now after creating your first project inside the Android studio make sure you are working under the project hierarchy. Now under the project hierarchy you will find the detailed view of your project and under the main you will find the java folder that contains your package and inside the main package I am having the main activity.java. Under our package we will find our main activity class. Now this activity class guys is actually a java file that runs when our application is launched and it contains the default application icon. Now next comes the build.gradle file. Now this gradle file guys is the inner build.gradle file for our application module and you will find another build.gradle file outside of this module which as of now I am not going to discuss. But these Gradle file guys contains all the Gradle dependencies and application dependencies and also it contains the package name, the application version name and so on. So as of now this build.gradle please don't worry much about it. Just remember it contains the Gradle dependencies and app related data. Now if you remember from the last video under the main folder you just saw java file and resource file. Now there is one more folder that we can create manually. Now this folder is known as assets folder. So what this assets folder stands for. Inside the assets folder you can store miscellaneous files that we need to access in our code as the raw data. That means it contains all the raw data and the miscellaneous files are audio files such as mp3 file, fonts, images, text files and non android xml files. So in case you want to store any images of your choice or you want to change the font of your application text then you can store your own fonts manually inside the assets folder and access it inside your application. Since this is a theoretical video that's why I am showing you all the folders in detail. So this is an example how we store our files inside the assets folder. Just create the assets folder and store our images like this. Now by default we always have to store our images inside the drawable folder. Now next comes the resource folder. That is the second folder after the java. Right? Now inside the resource folder you will find drawable folder, layout folder, menu folder and these values folder. So let's check it out what this drawable folder stands for. This drawable actually contains all the images being used in our application. So we can store all the images for our layouts inside the drawable folder. Now next comes the layout folder. Now as I told you this layout folder contains the appearance of your application. As I showed you this layout folder in the previous demo video contains the activity main.xml. So whatever layout we create we have to store it inside our layout folder. Pretty awesome and pretty simple. Now next comes the values folder. 
just an overview I showed you in the previous video. This values folder contains a string that appears in your layout folder. In the last video we saw inside the activity main.xml there was a text hello world and that text is actually stored inside the values folder and with the help of few quotes, few reference quotes, these two folders are linked. Now let's check out how this layout folder and that values folder are linked. Now inside the layout folder we had what? Activity main.xml and this was the appearance that we saw in our previous video. Pretty simple. Now inside the activity main.xml we had some codes, text view and inside it we had layout width wrap content, layout height equal to wrap content. Now these codes guides please don't worry about it. You don't have to write all these codes. These codes are auto generated. So you don't have to remember the codes Android layout width and blah blah blah. These codes are auto generated. You don't have to write these codes. And what these codes stands for I will explain you in the upcoming videos. Now we had another field such as text equal to add the rate string slash hello underscore world. So as I told you this add the rate. Now whenever you encounter add the rate in Android it actually refers to an address. So add the rate string that is address of string is what hello underscore world. So this is the address of the string stored inside the strings.xml. Pretty simple. Now if you remember inside the values folder there was strings.xml and inside this xml file what did we have? We had a string tag. This string opening tag and this is the closing string tag. Now in, in between the string tags we had our string hello world exclamation. Now this exclamation guys I just forgot to mention it here. So this is the string that appears for the user. Now inside the string tag we have name equal to hello underscore world and this string was actually enclosed within the resource tag. Now this hello underscore world is nothing but this hello underscore world. So these two are same. So you can make out text equal to add the red string. Now this string is this one string and this is the address hello underscore world which is similar to this one. So from here we are referencing our string to here hello world which is the output appearing for the user right here. Now again guys if you are still not getting the concept that I am explaining it here. Please don't worry in the upcoming videos we are going to see all these stuffs again and again and your concept is definitely going to be totally crystal clear. So try to watch this video again and again and try to figure it out what I am speaking. It is very very simple concept guys just the reference now. Next comes the main activity dot java which is our java file. Now inside the main activity dot java we had some codes public class main activity. So here we go on the right hand side I have shown what main activity dot java. Now this main activity dot java extends activity. This activity is a super class guys. We have here some concept of inheritance that we used to do in java. This is our main activity dot java extending activity. So this activity contains a method on create. So let's override this method on create which is the entry point of any application or any activity and this on create method is having some parameter please ignore it bundle save instance state or whatever is it please ignore it. We will discuss about it later on because I don't want to confuse you guys as I have assumed that you guys are beginner. Now inside the on create method we have some code super dot on create blah blah blah. So we are calling the super method of this activity. Now soon after this we had this code set content view r dot layout dot activity main dot xml. Now from the previous video the project that we created you can please check there is some code set content view inside the bracket r dot layout 
dot activity main dot XML. Now this is the activity main dot XML that we just saw inside our layout folder. So whenever this statement is executed, set content view r dot layout dot activity main dot XML, then this is going to link our activity main dot XML with our main activity dot Java. So here we go. This Java file is now having some appearance, which is going to appear somewhat like this. So in short, you can say this is one activity having some layout and that layout will appear somewhat like this activity main dot XML that says hello world. Pretty awesome. Now guys, also there is some import method android dot app dot activity. Since we are inheriting this activity, so we are importing a package. Now this package guys again, we don't have to remember this import package. This is totally auto generated. We don't have to remember anything in Android. Just you need to know the logic behind each and everything that is going on. And rest of the things leave on to Android Studio. Android Studio will do it for you. This is the beauty of using an IDE while developing applications. So this was all about the hello world tutorial guys. In the next video, I will show you how to run our application in our emulator. So we will check the codes in action. So we will continue this discussion in the next video. Meanwhile, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to this channel and support us in a way you can. Thank you.